I spent $500 on Amazon golf products that promise to make your golf game better. That was maybe one of the worst putts I've ever hit. Do they actually? The answer might surprise you. I actually need this rider. What is this? It's literally sticking. Come on, baby! Come on! Come on. Guys, I wanted to get a little warm up in today. Um, and there's pretty much no spots available on the range, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. And I gotta figure out that situation just to get the body loose, get dialed in, and you know, start feeling the swing for the day. See what we got going. So, we got this thing for you. It's okay. Gonna, it's gonna tell you if you are slicing, chunking, hitting a fat. Dude, it's kinda soft. It, it is nice. very soft. Ooh, look and, at that. Yeah, oh, what's great about it is it's gonna show you actually where you are like making contact with the ball. You know, if you're hitting a fat, hitting a thin, all that. It's like, you see those commercials that like, it's like whether you're striking the ball fat, a little <laughs> heavy, it's that thing. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Dude, and that comes up on like every one of our videos, yeah. I swear. <laughs> Along with that, Dude. We got these little balls that it's, they're not gonna fly as far, but it's just so you can make better contact with the ball. Poker chip? What is it? I mean, essentially. <laughs> Basically, Dude. what it is is to make it so you can't top the ball. Okay, that's a good point. All the links to these products will be in the description. I'm giving my honest reviews yeah. over all these. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey. Let's look at the feedback here. Okay. This thing sucks. <laughs> as of now, I'm not a fan of this. It's like a. Hey, apparently I made good contact with that. I'm pretty okay. sure I topped it though. Okay. Dude, you look like you're kind of struggling here right now, and I'm not gonna lie, I think this thing could help you more. We've been talking about staying over the ball a little bit more, and I think this might help. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> what is this? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Bro, what even is this? When you look up golf on Amazon, this is something that comes up, and we're gonna try to find out what it's actually good for. What is it? I think you put it against your, like, your back shoulder here, and then it kind of just, you know, yeah. Sure. <laughs> so it's like okay. this? Yeah, yeah. I don't think this is a bad thing. It helps you stay connected, I think. What if we're like completely using this thing wrong? <laughs> we might be. We, there's actually a solid chance we are. You angle it so it's like you're holding it, but then you gotta put that, you gotta pull that up to your armpit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we're ready to go. I think we go to the first tee, we test out the rest of these 500 items, or how many, how many do we have? All right guys, this is something Garrett needs really bad because over the last couple weeks, we've been playing the exact same ball, the exact same logos, and you can't really tell the difference. So what we got Dude, here- I actually need this rider. Thank you for <laughs> buying me this. I'm not kidding. This is gonna, yes. What color do you like? I'm not joking, I actually need this. Watch okay. this, I'm gonna extend the- cr Yeah, so it helps oh, the triple track. I want red. Okay. This is actually You big. get the, the 360 Yo, triple wait, track. this is gonna, yeah, I'm making my own. <laughs> Look at this. Thanks for getting me this, actually, yeah, hey, seriously. Look. Look. All these things are gonna be surprises for G. He has no idea what's coming, so obviously we just surprised him with something that he actually wanted, so hopefully in the rest of the box there's other stuff he wants. Here we go, first tee shot of the day. Hopefully we don't lose the marked ball. Spoke that into existence. <laughs> That's tough. What's the goal? I think we're playing six holes here. The goal is to break par. Okay. And like six that. holes? Yep. Par five here. Honestly, that's the miss if you're gonna miss on this hole. Yeah. I'm just so scared of going left. I've been there too many times. I mean, it's par five, so you're, you're gonna be fine anyway. If only there was an Amazon product that helps with that. <laughs> he, he needs that. <laughs> All right, so this is the Gamma Tacky Towel. What this does is it enhances your grip. This thing is something that I truly need on the golf course, and I don't know about you, but this is kind of a tacky towel. It's gonna help you with your grip. Normally, okay, so what? I just rub it on my you hands? You just rub it on your hands and the glove, though, because are you gonna swing with the glove? Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Right. Yeah, yeah. A little bit goes a long way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, like maybe way too far yeah, away. Yeah. Do you need some water? Dude, feel my hand. Dude, it's stuck. You're stuck to my hand, literally. <laughs> oh my God! I can't move it. Wow, dude, it's like super glue. All right, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna help you look, take control look, of the club. Look, I'm like actually trying to move my hand. <laughs> Don't use too much of this grip towel because your hands will be sticky for the next century. Pro <laughs> yeah, probably a couple, couple hours. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's literally sticking. I kind of like that. I mean, it kind of feels a little weird, but what club you got? I'm gonna do a hybrid. I typically, I will say, like mid tournament and stuff like that, I do struggle with grip. I mean, after a long day of sweating and grinding, you know? True. Two fifty four. Two fifty six. Oh my! God. <laughs> I got eyes. I'm telling you, I was close. I guess two fifty four is two fifty six. Control-wise, how did that feel? Really good. 
Hey, we got a yeah. putt eagle. Come on. An eagle putt? But control wise, it did feel good. Like you felt like. Let's see if this thickiness helps the dad. It might have, dude. We found our Amazon product that helps. We found the right every dab. I'm just gonna like rip the, the tack. I love that. All right, Garrett. Once you actually use these items, you're unlocked them for the rest of the round. So if your hands do start to get a little bit wet or you need a little bit more stickness, grab that thing. If you need to mark another ball, mark the other ball. I can see that problem happening throughout the round too. My hands yeah. might get too wet. You right. want to pull the flag? Uh, yes, please. Right to left and look at this. Take a little zoom in on that line. That beauty right there. Yeah. Yeah, we like that. I think it instantly makes you putt better just by having a line on a ball. Watch this roll end over end, hopefully. Oh. <laughs> it's the ball. It's the mark. It's the mark, dude. The Come mark. on, baby. It's the mark. Come on. Oh my. We're two products in and you're two under. <laughs> what the? Wait, oh, two yeah, under right. through one hole. I did it. That was tracking the whole way. I was like, there's <laughs> no way this goes in. In the center. Come on. Guys, for this next hole, when Garrett goes up to the tee, he's going to think he's hitting the world's longest golf ball, but instead it's going to explode into like dust. The ball's going to explode. We don't really know what's going to happen. After that eagle, it's going to be a pretty funny thing because this is a tough hole. He's going to try to hit something hard. Let's get it going. All right, We're guys. gonna have to play this tee because I cannot get over from that tee. What, from, this tee? from right here. We got something that might help. We we might we do have something that's gonna help. So this is actually usually a tough hole. Usually you like to lay up, lay up with an iron. Today we have the world's longest golf ball. I've used these before. You have with Steve. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Even better. So go. this distance is gonna actually help you cover. Okay. I can go ahead and tee it up for you if you give me your tee. Thank you. I'm just trying to help you out. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank we you. actually got him on Amazon. He was 20 yeah. bucks. He's a, he's a caddy. Yeah. yeah, we rented him for the day. Yeah, we nice. rented him. I'm going to tee it up high for you. Let it fly. I want you to swing as hard as you can because I want to see if these balls actually do the trick. What's the carry here? It's like 275 probably. Okay. I should be able to carry it, but. With these balls, it's easy to carry. Yeah. Yeah, with this ball, it's an easy carry. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was actually not the world's longest ball. That was I couldn't tell. That was actually a ball that explodes. I couldn't tell. Did that feel weird off impact? <laughs> I like actually almost feel like I threw my back out because I swung so hard. Oh, no. And that was such a good swing, by the way. It, it looked <laughs> really felt good. so good. That went better than expected. <laughs> then I did not think we were gonna get you. I was well, I saw it and I saw, like the dimples looked a little weird, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, oh, it's just the world's longest well, ball. This, yeah. is, this gonna... is what I'll show you. When you actually hold one of these balls, they that's are why so you light. wanted to tee it up yes. for me. <laughs> Look at it. Look, it is so light. Okay, is this actually? That's the. Now my driver head is covered in. <laughs> okay, do you want to actually hit the world's longest ball now? This is not the world's longest ball. You're gonna this try is... and get me again. No, no, no this no. is the you world's longest. You were gonna longest... try and get me again. No, I was just showing you. This is actually the world's longest ball. See, it's there a little bit go. heavier. You can oh, tell really? that there's nothing in it. Tell. Come on, I... that was a little bit of a good one. <laughs> that was that was really we good. We kind of got you. <laughs> that was the equivalent to me getting you four times in a row with a bees nuts joke. <laughs> you know what? Pretty I'm cool. a really gullible person, so I'm not even mad at it. This is actually the world's longest golf ball now. <laughs> Oh my perfect. Yeah. Boy. Oh. We're going seven under through five holes. Did you <laughs> see that? That was dead straight. That was sick. That was dead straight. That was actually sick. That probably went what, like 400 with that ball? I probably went 450. Yeah. It might be on the green even. Yeah. Here are these if you ever need them the rest of the round. Okay. If I need more distance. Yep. We got them unlocked. Yo! <laughs> yeah, maybe do a little switch them out here. <laughs> yeah, I switched the balls out. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want the world's longest ball on an approach shot. Okay, how far was that drive realistically? 114 in from the tees we were playing is 430. So like 315. That's solid. I mean it was into the wind too, so that's mm -hmm. actually really solid. I have a little 56 degree here. 114, a little downwind off the left. Trying to make this one, I don't know, land soft right by the pin. Might need to go, boys. Like You're right next to the pin. Yeah, we'll take that. We definitely take that. 300 through two, question mark. Landed just short, uphill putt. Do you want to see if it's actually uphill? Because we got, we got a little something for you here. Basically what this is going to do is going to tell you if this breaks left or right. Do you want to see if it actually works? Yes, I would love to. So it's a leveler. It's just a fancy way of saying this is a leveler. So the bubble goes the opposite direction as the of the hill. Looks pretty flat here. 
Let's take it here. Looks like it's moving. That would be moving that way, no, or that way? So about a foot out from the ball, it's moving that way. Let's take it up here. Still moving right, but the grain's pushing left, so this might actually confuse me. Yeah, what the? It's the whole way, so that's pretty flat. The reason we're giving you this here now is because we want to make sure that you go three under through two. This is a pretty big putt. Even though it's pretty short, we still well, want you to get dialed. It actually just distracted me. Okay. So, what's your rating of this thing, man? <laughs> not good so far, not for this putt. It's saying it's moving that way, but I swear it's gonna go left. I think it's, you hit it straight at the I hole. Think it's straight. I think you hit it straight at the hole. Dead straight, dead straight. <laughs> All right, so this product honestly kind of sucks. <laughs> for the record, it doesn't actually suck. The only thing about that product is if you were gonna use that in an actual round of golf, you'd have to walk your whole putt to the hole, just measuring every like four feet. <laughs> to see where it's going, and you can probably just see with your eyes. Not only that, but it has to be highly illegal. <laughs> There's no way you can use that in a tournament. All right, three under through two. Whoa, dude, what a start. Three under through two, is that's crazy. I didn't think I was gonna come out that hot, but here we are. All right, this next product, you he often hear a lot of golfers saying you hit it off the toe, you hit it off the heel. It's what we got is actually something that's gonna show you where you actually hit the ball off the iron head. Actually? Yes. You go and get your iron, put the tape on top, and we'll see where your compact is. Compact? No. Contact. Contact. Is this for righties or lefties? I hope it's for righty clubs. We're hoping it's for righty clubs, Wait. but <laughs> maybe not. Wait, there, there's gotta be different ones in here. No, there's gotta be a backside to it. Look for righty ones. Oh no. Oh no, Roger. No, no, no. <laughs> These are all lefties. Okay. Um, that's okay, just put it in. Here you go. <laughs> Oh, dude, I wonder if this is gonna affect my swing. Is that in no way is how it's supposed to? You also don't get any grooves when this happens. Yeah. Okay, so if anything, this might actually hurt my round today, but at least it tells me if I hit it in the center or not. We got an 8 iron, 190. Might catch a flyer lag because we don't have grooves on the face. <laughs> we'll see. At least you'll know where you hit it. <laughs> yeah, true. I think I set up the tape where the center is actually on the heel, so that yeah, looks pretty good. I need to go, boys. Oh, did that roll into the bunker? No, no, you're uh, good. Actually, low it on the heel. Okay. It's not a very good strike, Gary. You kind of suck. That's probably why it was short. Honestly, yeah. that probably is why it was short. That actually felt good, so that's good to know. When my shots feel good, they might actually be on the heel. So for someone that is actually practicing and needing to learn where they're hitting it on the golf club, golf club, this would be a pretty good item. So Just make sure you buy the correct handedness for you guys <laughs> yeah. at home. We got a lefty now. Corinna's left-handed. We put one on her, one of her irons. Let's see if she can actually hit it in the middle of the club face. Okay, there we go. Looks like it actually fits. <laughs> I will not make good contact, but we'll try. Oh, what did the thing say? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, did it make a mark? I don't see it. That's because it was right here. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little no! low, low on the toe. <laughs> Regardless of your chipping or putting, you've using this ball for a couple holes now. I think it's time to clean it all. You want to clean my balls? Yeah, from previous experience and being a man, I know having dirty balls is not good. This is true. So, gonna clean it off real nice. Probably would have been a little bit better if this was a little wet. <laughs> yeah, I wish my balls were wet. Make them nice and shiny. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> here's your ball. Still the same one with the big line. I okay. want to see if you can actually make this putt. Actually? Actually. For four under through three. Shot right. All right, well, we'll take par nonetheless. First part of the day, still three under through three. Ow. Ow. There might be something to this, guys. Maybe it's the products. Maybe it's me getting lucky today. Either way, we're three under. This next product was supposed to be for you, but like usual, you're not wearing a hat. Luckily, I am. And I'm not used to this Texas heat yet. Coming from Kentucky, it's a lot harder, hotter down here. So I'm already sweating. And so what this is supposed to do, not get sweat lines on your hat. Yo. So, like, you know, are you a head sweater? I am. I sweat a lot through my head. Actually? Yeah, I'm not even joking. All right, all right. So, we'll, we're going to see if this works because I got a big old noggin and my head produces a lot of sweat. To be honest, <laughs> I don't know how this thing works. It's a lot more sticky than the towel, I can tell I you that. I should have worn a hat. See, look at that. You got already inside the hat, brother. I, I honestly, I already know that. And it's got to be the other way. You think so? The other way. You no, just yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I got this. Not as easy as you think. No, it is. No, it's not. A little off center. <laughs> Definitely very off center. <laughs> it doesn't even go to the other brim. Oh, that's bad. Uh, it's fine. We'll see if it works. Um, Does it feel any different? It doesn't feel any different. I honestly don't think it's going to make a difference. That ball's dead straight. Yeah. 
kind of cooked that. That was actually hit center face, too. I think. Maybe it was on the heel. Who knows? All right, how far do you think we got here? 113. I know right, we got so 113. We got 113. Your wedges look a little dirty, brother. Wait, you were actually bringing something for glue grooves. I am bringing something for grooves. I was literally about to stick my tea in this groove, no, and I'm no, not no, even no, joking. We got okay. you. We got you with something. Do you want me to clean it or do you want to clean it? I got it. All right, for anybody that doesn't know what this does, cleaning your grooves is actually an essential part to golf. <laughs> that oh. sound just made me, made my butthole quiver. So. Ah! Oh. Dude, that sound. Point it, don't do the whole thing, like use the point. Good point, thanks. <laughs> Wait, that's actually working really well. Again, that's what it's designed for, so I hope it does. Can I tell you something about my hat thing that's work? <laughs> it's literally stuck to my forehead right now. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Did you feel that? Look, it sticks on both sides. It's already came off, and it was on my forehead. <laughs> 113, this is for four under through four, if we make birdie. 56 degree. Go. Wow, that actually spun a little bit. It did. It came out a lot lower and more penetrated because I think the grooves are clean. I'm not even joking. I like that. You see how much that went up there and then nipped back? Mm -hmm. That's not normal for me. Maybe I need to start cleaning my grooves. Maybe. So for this next hole, it's a tight par four. Basically what this is, it's the fairway finder. You rub this on the face of the club. It's gonna help him find the fairway. Hopefully, let's see if this product works. Left to right for the birdie, and this is to get to four under through four. This actually breaks a good amount. Okay. Mmm, oh. that, that stings. Golly, that would have been like record pace for me. Dang it, dude, that was such a hard lip out, too. I ran it through the break, folks. I had the line. Out of the last two holes, three under through four. All right, well, something we got here. You like chapstick. Well, this is chapstick for your driver. And this is illegal. <laughs> Very illegal. This is like putting Vaseline on your club. Basically, this is just gonna help you not slice the ball. Yeah, this is gonna help with the spin. <laughs> Holy, that comes out hot. Wow, it's already melted. <laughs> Like I said, it's hot here in Texas. Hold on. The fairway finder. Can you put this on your lips? I wouldn't. Should I? <laughs> no, don't, 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 don't. That would be bad. You think so? All right, well, I got <laughs> whatever that is on my face. I'm gonna actually try and hit this one hard. The ball shouldn't spin, so we have this teed up as high as possible. Downwind, I'm just gonna like hit this one hard. <laughs> I mean, that's dead straight. Watch it fall out of the sky, you see that? Because it's not spinning. What in the bad bounce, dude? Yeah, dead center. Oh. Actually, pure that. <laughs> and that the bummer is though, that was that was definitely a fade. You think like so? it felt like a fade swing, and it did not move whatsoever. So oh. you should try to hit like a huge fade with that and see what happens. I actually, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right, we're gonna put more on here just to see. I think I like this one better. It's not as, you know, not as concentrated in one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big we... fade. Dead straight. <laughs> dead straight, dude. Okay, that's actually wild. That's insane. Cause that was a big fade swing. Yeah. <laughs> that was seriously that was helicopter. That was probably gonna move 30 yards to the right. Wow. <laughs> Instead it's dead straight. Whoa. I always thought that was a myth, dude. All right, maybe wipe that off your club with the little thing you got. Here we go. Now, not only can it clean your dirty balls off, it can also clean the face. 121, same wedge. I've hit this wedge three times now. Out of the rough, fly or lie. Trying to put one close. Came out kind of dead, boys. Dang it. It's a little short. Oh Looks like we got some- face is so dirty, It's man. dirty. Well, we got two things that can help with that. One, we got a club brush. Perfect. Did you put water in it? What we got here is a magical golf club cleaner. We're gonna dump that in that. Oh, what? Let's We're see. doing a little- We're really combining the two products here. Whoa, you guys are doing some MacGyver stuff here. That doesn't- Dude, what is that? That does not look like- That looks like something else. There's some weird <laughs> texture on that thing. Yeah, that's really good. The groove tube. <laughs> kind of like that name. Squeeze, squeeze. A little bit of it comes out. Okay. It started, it, it came a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we use our little dirty ball cleaner. Good as new. It's almost like I just bought this wedge, believe it or not. Ooh, this actually snaps a lot. We're going to use the line. We made one long putt today. See if we can make a second. However, the chances are not great on this one. Pretty good putt. Well, wow. 
That was so bad. We do, I got this for free 99 off of Amazon. It's one free mulligan, so you get to redo that butt because that was atrocious. <laughs> that was terrible. That's a round killer. Good thing we got this for free 99. Link down below. Link down below. Yeah. That was maybe one of the worst putts I've ever hit, genuinely. So here Thank you go. You. I appreciate that. Here's your free mulligan. Do what you like with it. You know how we always used to say we bought mulligans in the clubhouse? Yep. We did. We did. Wow. <laughs> that mulligan didn't help. You should have bought more. We should have brought him. Yeah, you guys should have held on to it. <laughs> if anything, I feel like you should just play my first one. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is where my first one actually ended up. I'm just going to play it. Even though they gave me a generous mulligan, it didn't seem to really help. So just going to play the actual ball. See if we can make a legit par. Oh. I thought I made it. I thought I made it. Mm. That's a bogey. First bogey of the day. Two hundred tap it in. But don't bend down, your back's been hurting, hasn't it? A little bit, yeah, my lower back. All right, so we got something that makes it so that you can just put it on the end of your club, grab the ball out of the hole. You're nope, kidding. No bending needed. What? Wait, this is actually kind of cool. Yo. <laughs> oh. No more back problems. Bro, who invented this thing? I love it. That's actually clean. It's like a little suction cup right around your shaft. We have two final products for you. The first one we got, this one's usually used if you are under a tree. By the look of things, it kind of looks like you need to use this. So use this on the end of your face. It is an alignment rod to see if you can get that loft over the trees. Really? Show you the, the loft. Oh, let me see this thing. Let me see I mean, you thing. didn't need to take that off, but okay. Oh, it's a mat. Whoa. Yeah. Watch this, watch this trick shot, ready? First try. I think that, I think we're probably pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. We might be cutting it a little close All right. though. All right, we got one more thing for you. Don't you swing it for it? Just like the anti slice, this does the kind of the exact same thing, except you're gonna hit the ball 15 yards farther. I should probably get a different club, but I'm nope. gonna use this one. No, that doesn't, you can't. You gotta use this club. You think this actually works? I, on the thing, it says Ooh. it is a 15 yard increase. It's guaranteed 15 yard increase and 41% correction in slices. All right, well, with the pitching edge, we'll see if it works. I swung easier, better go far. Okay, I'm not even just saying it, but that actually did go farther. <laughs> because I had 165 and I swung easy at a P-Way. No, you did look like you took some off. I 100% took some off. What does that feel that. like? And right. it tells you where you hit it. It felt kind of normal. It's that like might be the best product of the day, even though it's fully illegal. That actually kind of worked. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It actually did go far. That's like, that went 170, dude. I didn't really need the extra distance, but hey, maybe we should have used that on a drive. Hey, Sploosh. What? This is going in. And it goes in. Shave my head. But I think he just wants to shave his head at this <laughs> yeah. point. At this point, we got to do it for a vlog. Shave his head. Shave your head. Hey, do you need help lining it up? No. Hmm. Staked in the back door. Stuck it in that left lip. Hey, 200 through six is actually pretty solid. I didn't really know what to expect, but we hit the goal. We want to shoot on a par here with these items, and we did. So as of now, I'm going to say they helped my golf game. Did they actually? Who knows? <laughs> Shout out to Ryder for uh, thinking of this video idea. It was actually a lot of fun. Had to throw it back to OG GM golf days for me, where we just use random items and stuff like that. Before you end it, go get your scorecard real quick. All right. Well, I got my scorecard. What do you need it for? All right, the last thing we got is actually a scorecard holder. Do you often keep your scorecards after the round? No. Well, you might have to now. Dude, just I might have to start keeping them as a souvenir. Stop, stop counting. Stop counting. You Memorable course. Yep. Oh, wait, dude. It's pretty sick. Guys, this is actually really cool. Stop counting. <laughs> yes. No. Oh yeah, it'd be that. Uh, yeah, it'd be that. I stopped counting. I might actually keep like scorecards everywhere I go now. I actually keep every scorecard I've ever played. You seem like you would be a guy that would do that. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to Jackson for coming on the channel today. Shout out to Ryder for thinking this video idea. And shout out to Amazon for existing. And we'll see you guys in the next one.